solo queue is absolutely brutal. All I want to do was get this challenge and ritual done. That's it. That's it. And this is what happened. All right, so we need to open up and exegate as Claudette, as well as assist in healing the total of three survivors. Unfortunately, this killer did not like me very much, so he decided he wanted round two. I'm trash, bro. I was gonna tell me out the game, my teammate's not gonna save me. And boy was I right. Not only did I completely grief the second chase in there, but my team decided that they were not gonna risk themselves to save me. Although they had Kindred, they were fully healed, and none of them were on death hook. Nothing wrong with how the clown's playing, but I would definitely sacrifice myself for my teammates here, and I, I wish they would just do the same sometimes, but that's all look here. On to game number two. A DC followed by a quick down. Oh. Oh. Another game where the killer focuses me down, and another game where I get left to die on seven hook. Now this killer was trying very, very hard. There were five gens left, and they actually decided that they wanted to go for the person they already hooked. When there was a DC, and someone else had no bither. But even then, I don't blame the killer, because if they just want to play with the sole purpose of winning, then that's okay, and they're allowed to play like this. Once again, really wish my team would have attempted to go for the save, but I mean, at that point, the game was over. They are probably just trying to help themselves out. I don't blame them. Still frustrating, though. So, the next game is a nurse game. Ooh. And although we get a clean save,
No. I get absolutely rocked. This game is a spirit with rancor. And guess who's the obsession? Fucking trolling. Man's respecting like his light depends on it. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. No! So he forgets that he can mortar me on the ground because he has Rancor. But because he has Rancor, there's no point in me healing up at the end of the game. And he's blocking both of the gates, which forces me to have to look for Hatch. I end up not finding it and dying. I tried so fucking hard, bro. This is a hack game, but honestly, I don't think anyone really wants to watch this. Long story short, we get absolutely annihilated again. Not wasting it.
I'm going to regret this later. Yeah, me clicking was kind of troll. I don't think the killer liked the fact that I got the flashlight save earlier, so once he downed everybody, he decided to leave me on the ground until I bled out. On the plus side though, my team was actually playing more altruistically, even if they weren't playing perfect, but hey, neither was I, so that's a positive, I guess. In for 8th game, we get a really good team and escape. I'd love to say that this is a particularly bad day of Dead by Daylight, but I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. This is the average. I don't think the game's dying, but I do think that the game can be extremely frustrating when you play it by yourself. Because you're dependent on three strangers to, you know, help you win a game, and you're also dependent on the killer to play in a way that'll let you have fun. This is why I'm definitely a killer main, because I get to dictate the pace of the game even when I'm getting absolutely destroyed. Versus a survivor when, if I'm getting absolutely destroyed, I feel like I can't do anything. Honestly, I just wanted to post this to show you what it's normally like when I try to record anything for content and why, for a while, I just wasn't that motivated to make any. That being said, though, I'm back, and stuff like this isn't going to deter me. I'm more than happy to keep making content, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. My god, that was tilting.